Can they really see? Do they see like I see? Do they see like I see? Whoa! Okay, you guys, let's jump straight into this video. I don't want to take too long because I do put a lot of pressure on myself when it comes to these YouTube videos. I'm not doing it today, okay? I want to show y'all how I'm doing these box braids, so let's get into it. Before we do, though, I do want to show you, um, what do I want to show you? Oh, the products that I'm using. I bought six packs of braid in here. Today I'm doing red. Maybe this can be a thumbnail. No? No, y'all don't like that. Okay. Um, anyway, this is one of the first times I'm using color hair. It's 26 inches and it's pre-stretched. I got it from the hair store. Then I'm using this shine jam. Then I'm just using a fine tooth comb. Those are really the main products that I'm using. If I do add anything else, I would definitely let y'all know. All right, you guys. I want to give you the behind the scenes scoop, okay? One thing about me is I like to keep it real with all my queens and you about to see the real. You see here that I'm parting my hair. You know, everything is going good. I'm using that one strand to braid the braid and it's not working, you guys. Doing the back of your hair is very hard if you do not have a lot of mirror angles. Make sure you have a lot of mirrors around you because I was using the viewfinder in that mirror in front of me to do the back of my head and at first I thought I was doing good you know right here I'm doing good or whatnot but baby I take it right back out you dig so I want to keep it real I didn't want to show the back of my head in this tutorial at first but I was like I want y'all to see the behind the scoop the behind the scene scoop okay so you see here that I'm trying to figure out the technique that I want to use to braid my braid. Um, usually I use the rubber band method, but since I was using color, I didn't want the rubber bands to potentially show. I don't know. I wanted to do it without the rubber bands this time for some reason. Girl, right here, I am trying to braid this braid like it is a freaking cornrow down my neck. Like, what? Okay, so I eventually got my life together and went in the bathroom, got a huge mirror to do my hair, and now I'm using the bathroom mirror and that huge mirror that you see behind me. Okay, as you can see here, I'm trying to show you how I parted my hair. I did use the brick method um, on my head. I wanted the, all of my braids to lay flat. So I made sure to part the whole row according to the row beneath the row that I was working on. I don't know if that made sense, but if y'all need a video on parting, I can do that for you. I am not the queen of parting, baby, but I could honestly tell you, this time around, my parting was a lot better than it usually is. Like, I mean, usually I do dreads and I just free part, but this time I actually tried to take my time and Try to make my hair look like something. You dig? You dig. I don't know why I keep on saying that. Make sure you are separating your hair effectively. You see me twisting each part because I kept on grabbing hair from the wrong section while braiding. So don't make that mistake, queen. Don't. Okay. If you want your hair to be shiny, filled with luster, and you want a nice hold, this jam for braiders is superb for that y'all i have 4c hair as you can see and i needed a jam that was a little bit thick um at first i was going to get the yellow tub but my girlfriend was like try the one for braiders that version was really good it really slicked my hair down enough for me to braid for real for real i mean you see it right there queen I mean, the yellow jam is good too, but I did want to try this one and it did the job, okay? Okay, so this is the technique that I used to braid my hair. I parted my hair in three. This was very important because I wasn't using rubber bands. This was the first time I wasn't. So um, by the time I got to the top of the head, 
parting my hair in three was just the easiest way to do it. I literally had to part it in three and make sure that it stayed in place. I'm a beginner, y'all, so <laughs> I'm not used to parting or braiding without a rubber band. And I got a good portion of the hair, as you can see here. I parted the hair in two. So I parted the extensions in two and crisscrossed them, making two loops. And then letting one of the parts hang in the middle. Keeping the extensions in that same position, I started to align them with my natural hair. I aligned the first part with my left strand then my right strand and then the middle strand then i placed the finger over the intersection of the extension and grabbed the left and the middle part to start my braid and you just braid it keeping the intersection or the middle part of the extension in the middle and making sure that the grip of your hair is tight and as your braiding is important to kind of like tug on your natural hair to make sure the root of your braid is tight making my root tight was a struggle because I was trying to kind of make sure my extension stayed in the braid and it was just a whole lot to handle at first and i know as a beginner it will take some time like i don't want y'all to get discouraged because it took me a long time like this was the morning after the night that i started this video so i have already spent maybe eight hours doing my hair and half of that eight hours i was trying to learn how i wanted to like braid my hair and what technique I wanted to use so right here it's getting easier at this point you're just braiding if you know how to braid you, this is easy peasy but I did want to show y'all towards the end of my natural hair I added some jam I'm making sure you know all my ends are tucked in okay y'all this part was complicated for me at first but once i got the hang of it i was like it's so easy anybody can do this so i needed to make the braid longer right now i'm getting a piece to add into the braid and i'm putting it in front of the middle part aligning the added piece with my braid we're just we're just aligning everything y'all Braiding is about aligning. When it comes to extensions, you just need to align. Don't make it complicated. So right here, I'm aligning my added piece to the braid, as you can see, and then I just start braiding. I don't think about it. I don't think about what I'm doing, girl. I just go for it. Okay, we're in there. Okay, it's set. Y'all, this was my mindset as I was braiding. Like, if I got an extension or an added piece in there the first time, baby, I felt like a champion. When I tell you this took me a long time, I was just, I was excited that I recorded it because I really wanted y'all to see that braiding is not easy. I really give it up to these braiders out here, they be working, working. My hands were tired, baby. And I did that twice for one braid. I added in another piece. Do y'all see this? Another piece. Now, I would say that piece was way too big. And that was a mistake that I kept on making. Because there was too much hair in the extension for the braid, it was making lumps throughout some of the braids. So as I got to the top, I started to realize, hey, I'm adding way too much hair to this extension. So I would definitely recommend that you make sure that when you add hair, don't add too much. You know, make sure the, um, the amount of hair that you're adding is just enough to keep the same 
um, width or the same thickness throughout the braid. So I'm adding the next extension and I hope y'all understood that explanation. Um, if not, I don't know about you, I'm a visual learner. So definitely rewind this clip or this video if you get confused about anything or comment down below and I'll definitely answer all the questions that you have. Um, I kind of just went with my the feeling of the braid. I had to become one with the braid. Y'all think that I'm over exaggerating, but this weekend was about self care and I had to use patience, okay, with my hair. When you're doing your hair, make sure you have the patience to do it. I prepared my mind and I knew this was gonna be hard, but I got through it and you see me, you see me out here. You see all those flyaways, baby. We took care of them, but yeah, it was a, it, it was a journey. <laughs> so yeah, I hope y'all um, understood everything that I just said. I'm gonna speed up this video and just let y'all watch, you know, so you can get a feel for it for yourself, period. Okay, you guys, I'm finally done with my hair. It came out great. I love this color. It really makes my skin pop out. I can't even stop looking at the viewfinder. Like, I love this color. The only thing that I would say that I didn't like about this process is um, some of the braids are kind of like a little bit uneven. You can kind of see. I don't think anybody's gonna be looking that close. But um, I do need to work on a couple of things, like making sure that each part is even so the braid will look neater and preparing preparing to braid your hair is key make sure you have you know your hair separated already and hung up because that makes the process quicker and your hair party your actual natural hair party because I had to part while I was going because I didn't part my hair the day before which I wanted to but things life happened so I just had to suck it up and part my hair it's harder doing it on your own so also have mirrors everywhere queen we need mirrors everywhere okay like I had to have two big mirrors in the bathroom. I took up the whole bathroom the whole weekend. Like my family was like, oh, but they have patience with me. And I appreciate that them for that. But yeah, make sure you have mirrors because when you're parting your hair on your own, it can get really hard. Some of my parts are not as perfect, but girl, I just went with it because you know, I was trying my best. That's all you can do, queen. Don't beat yourself up about it. But yeah, that's it to this video. Um, those are the only tips that I would have um, for you to make the process better. But yeah, I'm glad that I could do this video for you. I didn't want to make it too long. So yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell and like, comment. Tell me what you want to see next. So I'll see y'all in the next upload. Don't forget to be blessed, stay encouraged, and always be aggressive with your way. Bye.